Hey hi everyone and um, this is Omsi Reddy. Today in this video I am going to explain this uh, project and uh, let's move into that uh, project. Uh, there is a data set which is contain the video game sales predictions. So here the data science contain uh, this data science contains the video game uh, sales generated with thousands of uh, uh, lakhs of copies. Uh, it was generated by this crap by the um, this company we got uh, we can look this company what the exactly the company have let's copy here and paste over here and let's uh, we have looked the company details just wait a second it's loading and if you are a beginner uh, this type of process definitely help for you uh, to improve the skills in the learning of data science and the way of learning the data science so this is the uh, website of this uh, who created this data set vg uh, charted so this is a website okay and, and this uh, whole data set is sponsored by that uh, uh, website only so this uh, what are the fields contained in this data uh, set like rank name platform years uh, the, like publishers nan sales europe sales japan sales another uh, sales uh, global sales these are the things are uh, columns which are present in the data set so uh, we can move into the project at a time you can get each and everything and overall they have uh, records of uh, 60 16000 plus records uh, so here contain the data sets so uh, and the next step we have looked the uh, link of the data set so here the this is a link of the data set you can simply click the link uh, in that i will give you this uh, whole project link in the description and you have moved to that uh, and click the uh, click the link you move into the kaggle.com and you can simply you can download this uh, data set okay and so for this uh, you have also see that uh, data set here the data set is contained and this is the columns of the data set what are the rules and data sets so uh, everything is look like this okay and now you want to import the necessary python libraries which are required for this five uh, data sets so i am importing this importing pandas.pd importing numpy as np importing matlab lib as pd and importing c1 these are the packages which i have uh, necessary to import the uh, for this data types so in front of you i can execute step by step it's running just wait a second yeah exactly it's uh, execute perfectly there is no error and after to now we have um, import the libraries so now then we need to read the data set from our drive so for that uh, read the data set using the python lib pandas library so data equals to pd dot read csv so this is a csv file i am reading the read csv i am passing the file name as dot csv and read the csv data dot head so top five uh, rows of data uh, I, I can see so if you place in the place of uh, head like 10 you can see top 10 rows uh, from the data set here see looks like see top 10 rows you have seen so like that uh, head this can head function can work like that and like that only tile function is also work so here the tile function works for the la from the last five column, uh, rows it can show so here the last five rows has go so if you place uh, 10 here between this and it will show like this uh, last five last 10 rows it means uh, the end of the data set last 10 rows it can show the output like this okay and uh, so we can move some the statistical uh, analysis of the uh, given from the data okay and first one uh, I am looking for the how what is the shape of the data so say it means uh, shape means how many rows and columns are contained in the data so let's execute there is uh, 16,598 rows and 11 columns containing the data and give some of the information which type of the uh, what, which column is uh, belongs to which type like uh, um, rank is belongs to into 16 and name equals to object platform is called object year is a floating so like, like that uh, which type of the uh, data type contain the columns so we can clearly understand next check is there any 
nan values is there any nan values so sorry for this heading answer yeah checking is there any nan values so if uh, nan values means empty places are uh, nothing missing places we can say anything missing or nothing uh, empty places in the data set so here the data set contain two columns have nan values one is year and another one is publisher so in year we have get uh, 271 nan values and in publisher we have 58 nan values so for this sake of project we simply dropping the nan values so it is a beginner level project who can learning of data science right now they have simply understand uh, who have came to learning of uh, machine learning algorithms like decision tree linear regression for that case only i am providing this project so for that persons are that people who are learning the data science as a entry level candidates can easily understand this type of projects so i have made like that and next uh, so as i said that i am dropping this nan values so i am dropping this nan values data equals to data dot drop nan this is a drop nan is a function which is drop the all the nan values uh, from the data so and next one i am going to data dot head so this is a data dot head of uh, first top 10 rows and now checking this uh, after dropping the nan values is, is there any nan values present okay let's uh, make a comment on it you can clearly understand checking nan values after dropping so exactly uh, we execute this type of code like data dot uh, is nan dot sum so is nan it's the function uh, is uh, one such the is there any nan values are present in the data set and that function sum i am going to sum the function so sum means it can add the what are the nan values are present so in this case we get uh, everything is zero then so our data set is uh, perfectly all right there is no nan values nan values are present in our data so up to now we have seen that statistical information about the data set let's move into some visualization of the data like uh, what are the things are present in this data okay if by using the visualization we can clearly understand the data set clearly to move forward the building of models and the next one is uh, EDA. it means uh, exploded data analysis so in this uh, I am plotting the plot diagram, pie plot, which shows the what are the uh, categories of a game sold. So, like the, there is a different types of games. We have no action games, adventures games, and music games. Uh, everything rise games, uh, shooting games, simulation games. These are the types of games which are present in this uh, uh, data sets. So, there are the top ten categories. I have taken top ten categories here. The plot diagram has visualized so uh, this type of co this is the code used to generate the part diagram like i'm importing the matlab lib as a mpl and game equals to um here the game equals to data dot group by i'm group buying the generic and global sales dot count and head so uh, top head generic and uh, global sales and uh, they have getting the top uh, i'm counting the values of they have and i'm taking the uh, top 10 rows of a data so is um, some of the simple code you can easily understand and uh, again i am providing this type of um, this document and this uh, uh, note in the description you have more there and download it and uh, you can execute in your local system that uh, you can clearly understand how this is working so uh, this is the type uh, here the, when you see that in the pie chart there is uh, more games are sold in top is action games so action games are uh, sold out uh, a lot in the uh, given data set and next to uh, move into this uh, and i have executed this and get there uh, like this and next one printing the i want to how much correlation relation between the each uh, data columns uh, from column one to column two where is the 
rank and year, rank and months, and NA sales, rank and Europe sales, rank and general sales. So these are the how much relationship uh, between the each and everything. Uh, let's move into that and uh, find out. So here I write that print data done correlation. So how much correlation between the two values? Correlation defines the uh, how much relation between the two columns or two variables. And here SNS I'm using the C wand and SNS dot heap map data dot correlation dot and C map is a which type of colors I want and uh, plot dot show. Let's execute this and we can clearly get that plot diagram which is presented. Yeah. This is a relation between the rank and rank, year and year, how by visualization and uh, statistically we are looking here. So by visualization we have seen that it is a heap map uh, where the brown thick brown tells that it is a highly correlated whereas a light yellow color shows that it is uh, there is no correlation between the two columns. So by the heap map we can easily understand how much the correlation between these uh, two uh, columns are two variables so uh, we can easily visualize the data by using this type of uh, eda diagrams and more there is a sum of more uh, way of finding the visualization of a data so on my next videos i will definitely help make more uh, visualization uh, diagrams and the visualization of the techniques okay and next one up to now we have seen that uh, statistical information from the data and the visualization of the data everything now it's time to build the model for the building of model you first need to uh, divide the um, data set like uh, independent variable and dependent variable here i am taking uh, x equals to it is a dependent variable x equals to data from the data i am taking as a I am taking as I say here the rank, um, NS sales, Europe sales, Japan sales, other sales as a independent variable, sorry, sorry, independent variable and Y is a dependent variable. So I am taking from the data as a Y. Is a Y has a global sales. So now try and test split the data from SKLN dot model selection import try and test split and x train x test y train y train y test equals to try and test space x y i'm taking the test size equals to 2, 0 0.2 random size equals to 40 and you can change the um, but you need to take the test size below 30 percent test size and to 70 percent training data set so at the time only you can get a perfect output and uh, clearly understand how the training the data models and now building a model using i'm using for this is tree uh, regression for building this type of models for this uh, data set so from uh, sklm dot tree uh, from sklm dot tree input decision tree regressor model equals to decision tree i am building the model of decision tree and i am now i am fitting the model x train and y train finally i am used to predict the model and prediction i have get array of 0 0.57 0 0.07 0 0.19 there is a prediction values uh, for the future sales so this is a prediction for the feature cell by using the decision trees and now we uh, let's build another model like linear regression how much the outputs are came how can easy the outputs have is there any differences between the decision tree and uh, linear regression let's see how you see and that so from sklm linear model import linear regression model equals to i'm building the model like uh, linear regressor and fit the model x train y train and prediction equals to prediction dot text and finally predict the values we have get the prediction value as 0 0.566997 uh, something so on and 0 0.066 so here are the differences between the prediction value of decision tree and prediction value of uh, linear regression slightly differences so there is no much differences here the n number of there is a slide in the uh, taking as a first column in the decision tree we have get here we have get 0 0.57 right as well as we have get in linear regression as a 0 0.569927 something so approximately you know, point, point zero 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 decimal differences between this uh, decision uh, decision algorithm and the linear regression algorithm for this data set so and this all about this video i have in this video 
I have explained the each of the data set, how the data set is formed, and uh, what are the how the building of models, how uh, how to analyze the statistical things, how to visualize the data, each and everything I have and uh, explained to you. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more information. Thank you, friends. Bye bye.